Michelangelo Caruso talking about the importance of an elevator speech. It doesn't matter about your haircut, what clothes you wear, um, what color your eyes are, or any accoutrements that you're wearing. For example, I'm often wearing a rotary pin. And people approach me and they say, what's that pin for? This is predictive dialogue, ladies and gentlemen. You can set your clock to it. People are going to ask you about your pin. And uh, for years, I didn't know what to say. And then for another few years, I would say, well, it's my rotary pin. Do you know that people would turn around and walk away? Because they didn't care what rotary was. Rotary is so important to me, I thought it would be important to them. And it wasn't. They would walk away from me. And finally, I adjusted my elevator speech to give the best rotary elevator speech about this pin. It works like magic. And now when people tap me on the shoulder, they say, what's that pin for? I look them in the eye and I say, rotary. This is a rotary pin. Rotary is the best decision I've ever made. And what do you think 95% of the people say? Why? Why is that? It's a natural question, isn't it? And then I'm able to tell them a little bit about rotary. How many of you are in sales? Please raise your hand. If you're in sales, you know, if you're always talking about your product and your service, you're pushing it on people. It doesn't feel good. But when the people ask you about your product and service, that's when the game changes. And that's how you can very quickly get people to ask about Rotary. This is the best decision I've ever made. Now, if you're standing with your spouse or significant other when they ask you about the pin, <laughs> you might want to make it the second best decision you've ever made. More information about Rotary at rotary.org.